Who bug dubbed up Tyler? I mean, Fiona, how old are you? 37. 37. Are you originally from Arizona? Um, no, I'm from, I was born in California. I lived in Texas till I was like 15. I've been here since. So it's been like 20 years I've been here. What part of Texas? Um, Midland, Odessa. Like, I came out here when we were like 15. When you were 15? Yeah. You came out here? Yeah. And, uh, how was your childhood growing up? Um, my mom did the best she could, but, um, she got married a lot and, um, you know, we went from stepdad to stepdad, I guess, technically. Um, but then I, I had a good life. I mean, I went to college, and when my son passed away is when I kind of went crazy, so that's when I came out here pretty much, I guess. So. You said your son passed away? Yeah. How did, how did he pass away? Um, he was a twin, and um, uh, someone had flipped him over in the crib, put him on his tummy, and he suffocated in the blankets. So, um, yeah, he, uh, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day of 2009. He died. He was born October 2009. He died Christmas of 2009. It's pretty shitty. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. And what's your current living situation right now? Are you homeless? Yeah, I'm homeless. And how did that happen? Um, I guess my grief was pretty weird. I didn't have really good, a really good grief pattern, I guess. And um, someone gave me a perk 30, and um, it, I felt good again for the first time in a long time. And, uh, I guess I started doing those, and um, my family just kind of turned their backs on me. And I was with, at the time I was married to my son's father, and he kind of put me out. It was like, get out, he didn't want to be around me. Because they didn't understand how I was coping with things, so. Yeah. And how long have you been messing with the blues? Um, since then, really, since like 2012. 2012? Yeah. So you're going on, what, 10 years now? Yeah. Is that all that you do? Uh, a little bit of meth every now and then, but yeah. Yeah. And what do you do out here to survive? Um, uh, honestly, a lot of um, stealing from grocery stores and things like that is, is necessary to like keep yourself fed. Um, it gets cold, you know, so going to stores and getting clothes or blankets for yourself is pretty important. Um, Staying away from you know stores and things and staying on sidewalks, they, they, you get arrested for stupid things like that. Yeah. So yeah, and we I have a dog and this little dog like we've had this dog forever. So um, it's me and my boyfriend and my dog and um, having to feed the dog is just sometimes so taxing. But um, we can't not feed him. We've had him for so long, you know, and we can't get rid of him now. We love him so. And where do you guys sleep at night? Um, outside of um, buildings, really. Like we try to sleep anywhere we can. A couple weeks ago, I was actually like, <laughs> like it, I guess, raped by a couple of guys outside of a building. It's pretty shitty. So you you went through that? Yeah. Were you not with your boyfriend at the time? No, I wasn't. But yeah, it happened to me, and they were supposed to be, they were supposed to be my friends, but they weren't. Yeah. Does that happen a lot out here to women in the homeless community? Yeah, it does. It does. It's something we don't really like to happen, but it happens. Did you report that to the police? No, they, they wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. Why do you say that they wouldn't care? You, um, because have, we're, have you we're homeless. We're, we're like the, the people that no one cares about. You know, like, even when they arrest us, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> sorry, I'm crying. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. It's okay. A couple times when it's really cold, that's pretty shitty. It's like you feel like your feet are gonna break off, but your fingers are gonna break off, it's so cold sometimes. Or sometimes it's so hot, you feel like you're gonna just have a seizure or die, you know, but. Um, I'd say weather conditions are pretty pretty bad um, sometimes, and uh, there's people out here, you know, people out on the streets. People, like, that aren't on the streets will come out here just to fuck with people on the streets. It's really fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, so. What are the, some of the dangers that you go through being out here? Um, people get stabbed a lot, um, punched, hurt. Like, there's a lot of violence, I would say. Um, um, 
I just try to stay away from like larger crowds and, and random loud people and um, I try to keep to myself so that I don't get in those situations but they find you, you know, so yeah. I just hope one day I'm not one of those people. A lot of homeless people get ran over by cars. People run them over. Yeah. So. If we have any younger viewers and they're thinking about trying blues or G, well, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, I'd say don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't start. Because once you start and you get stuck, it's so hard to get off it. It happens fast, so I wouldn't even risk it. Exactly. Um, do you have any family still out here in Arizona? Um, no, I don't. No, I don't anymore. My sister and my brothers have all moved off. Um, and my mom, she's out of state, so it's just me here. So, But I have to stay here. My kids are down here, so I have children yeah. here. How many kids do you have? Um, three that are still alive. What are they, their ages? Um, 16, 12, and 6. And who are they with right now? They're with their dads. They, I have good good men in my life, so I did at least. Good fathers, so they're all with their dads. Do, does your kids know about their mom's situation? Um, I think they do. Yeah. I think so. It's been a long time since I've talked to them. I, I don't have a phone. I'm like I was telling you, I'm trying to do my unemployment. I can't get that done because I don't have a phone. Um, yeah. It's been really hard because someone did fraud on my with my name, I guess, and tried to file for me. And I'm trying to get that cleared up, but I can't do it because no one will let me access their phone or use their phone to get it cleared up. It's really frustrating. So you're gonna get unemployment. What, what kind of work did you used to do before? Um, I've done tutoring and um, I've done babysitting. I used to be an assistant director of admissions, actually, but um, you know, as times changed, <laughs> I can't do that anymore. But I mean, I've had jobs since then, but um, I can't work without a phone. I can't. I can't do anything right now, so it's really difficult. Just in case one of your loved ones gets to see this video, what would you like to say to them? It's them. Say, Miss. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Fiona. I really do appreciate it. And are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Yeah, that's fine. All right, Fiona, before I leave, do you have any kind of social media or anything where my subscribers can reach out to you if they want to offer some donations, a job offer, or anything like that? Um, I have a cash app. It's moolalover83. Um, and that's pretty much all I have right now. <laughs> so, and I have an email address. This is my first and last name, Fiona Conley at gmail.com. Can you spell that out? Um, yeah, Fiona, F-I-O-N-A, and then C-O-N-L-E-Y at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Thank you, Fiona. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Bye.